All right, let's next topic. To let's, our next topic here. Zelensky asks Sweden for gripen jets. <laughs> so this is interesting because, you know, Zelensky's walking around asking people for support, support, support. The real deal is even even the Senate, even the U.S. government right now is basically like Ukraine's counteroffensive has failed. Yes. And I I have I wonder about that. And I wonder if that's first of all, I, I actually believe that's probably true. Mm -hmm. But I also wonder if that's motivation for sending more money to Ukraine, more weapons to Ukraine, because right now, so Zelensky is going to ask for these Gripen jets, but he already has approval from the United States for Denmark and Netherlands to send F-16 fighters to Ukraine. He, they already have that, <laughs> right? And yeah. so to justify, okay, well, so this isn't working, so we have to escalate it. So we have yeah. to escalate it. So we have to escalate it. So it's be whether it's true or not, it's being used to send more troops and more money, money. to Ukraine. Yeah. Well, this is why that major general, I, I wish I kept the picture on mm. my, my Twitter feed. Yeah. Uh, he was killed in a missile strike on uh, 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 command uh, center. Mm -hmm. inside inside ukraine by the way yeah inside kiev not kiev inside ukraine i, I don't remember the yeah. exact location but that's with that major general u.s major general so yeah. the next question would be what is a u.s major general doing inside that's a great question yeah, so, and, and no kind of, one is talking about that oh in no, the no, US. no they won't talk about that one they won't so that's the same arguments for and now they are not talking about this idea of the f-16s right. uh, uh, is because uh, russia has already warned because remember my conversation with sky raider and yeah, he mentioned yeah, yeah. about any time an f-16 is going to take off the russians will assume it carries a nuclear weapon because yeah. they are fitted for yeah this is why nato gets into uh, heated arguments with turkey mm -hmm. when turkey decided to buy the s-400 missile systems from russia yeah because they are on a different frequency first of all and different system uh and s-400 is much more advanced by yeah. the way just fyi uh and they didn't agree to that so so the idea of ukraine getting this f-16 that will be considered an escalation and that's right, World right. War III, basically and that's, and that's what i'm saying is you know yeah. it feels like it it just seems like there's more comfort around these escalations right kind of stuff, yeah. and and especially you know more or less more or less the biden administration uh you know wa waged this all out you know ukraine conflict yeah. more or less propaganda machine for the last what two years now yeah. it's, it's in chain is about somewhere around there and the reality is that it failed the reality oh, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. it's unpopular yeah. the reality is that we keep sending money over that this is this is a soapbox for me but the reality is that we keep sending money over there and recently it just came out you know hawaii right we've had actual disasters here in the united states and this the latest information that i read uh -huh. was that each hawaiian family was getting seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars which isn't enough to rebuild anything while we have now sent hundreds of billions, billions of, of dollars, dollars to yeah. ukraine and so you know the american people were sitting here looking at the situation and saying who does who does the biden administration or actually represent. care about yeah. who do they represent That's is true. it ukraine is it Zelensky who seems to be begging at a different nation every single week or every single month, there he is at a, at a new country asking for more, asking for more money, asking for more weapons. It somebody called, I think it's the UK uh, defense minister called Ben Wallace. Yeah, who yeah. said who said they're not an Amazon delivery service yeah, for it Ukraine. Did. It did. So this really bothers me, and it doesn't seem that he has any level of real gratitude for what what the rest of the world is actually giving up, so that he can go fight these he can go fight the Russians. And it's it's to me this is my big soapbox. This is my big upset. Yeah. Is the people here at home are absolutely not being taken care of when we have severe disasters that are happening here. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah, what you gonna ridiculous. do? Yeah, yeah it, it, the, the Biden admit, let alone that Biden was in Hawaii, I think, and fall asleep 
Well, well yeah. don't worry. It's to him, I guess it's that. not it's that so, interesting. It's, it's, yeah. So the idea of of this, just to go back to our topic. Sorry about, for my soapbox, David, but no, this, it bothers it's, me it's a reality. lot. It's it reality. bothers me a yeah. whole lot. Well, you I mean you will wish and hope that Americans will wake up. Yeah. I, I'm still wondering why. Why are they like so distracted, so easily manipulated? You will think just common sense, yeah. but you realize, well, wait a minute. Maybe they have never been trained to think critically. Right. So whatever the government says, they end up shoving it down their throat. And that's right. it. So right. it's, it's uh, the, the people also take the part of the blame also. Of course. You know, I'm one who likes to be fair. Yes, the mm -hmm. government has its share of blame, but also the people. You yeah. know, go educate yourself about the issues instead of just blamping up. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. some of us are not willing to do that. Yeah. Because I rather I, this American citizen, and I'm not mm -hmm. speaking that everybody is that way. Yeah. I rather sit and stare at the idiot box for hours and hours. Right. And and just dumping myself and 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 dumbing myself as far as being well informed. Right. Then turn around and blame the government. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of you know sort of isn't that saying goes. You get what you vote for. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the reality true. is that for the most part, yeah. we, we let ourselves be blinded by whatever our governments say, whatever the media says, whatever the news says. People let themselves be blinded by that information instead of going and looking at, at it for themselves. The problem is we now have a country and we now have a world that is a result of that. Yeah. And so, so. the United States, as it's the United States is in rough shape. The average person here is in really rough shape. I mean, to buy a house here is it's very, hard. very hard. To to even pay for groceries, it's very hard. The the amount of money that we're making, I mean, inflation has hit us horribly. And not only inflation, yeah, but the reality is that companies don't always need to charge so much. It's not just inflation, it's straight up manipulation. And so <laughs> this Excuse bothers me, me yeah. enormously for a lot of reasons that Sweden is actually saying, well, yes, yeah, so we're we're interested in this. We're interested in giving Zelensky more support. At what point does this stop? At what yeah. point does the world wake up and say this cannot continue? continue. The price of it is too high for everybody else. Mm. It's too high for us here. It's too high for the Hawaiians who now have lost their land, have lost their livelihoods, have lost absolutely everything. And in some cases, their lives, their children. Yeah. yeah. At what point does this stop? And I'm sorry for my soap. No, 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 no. But it's this right. really bothers me a lot. Yeah. And I found the picture. I want to share it with our yes, viewers. Please. <laughs> while I have it. Yeah, because, you know, the, the tr truth matters. I don't sort of... Uh, uh, you just have to share it the way it is. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And I okay. think that there's yeah. actually more people who really do think that. like this, uh -huh. who, who uh -huh. just are not either don't have the courage or who don't, you know, who don't know that there is another way. Stop sharing. Okay. Let me, why am I not getting it here? Okay. Here's the picture. Let me share it. Okay. Technology. <laughs> so. That's okay. I can't see right it yet. Look at oh, that. There. Oh, hold yeah. on. Add it to the add it to the stream, David. Oh yes. There it is. Yeah. Oh no. Can you see, guys? No. Yeah. Oh no. It, it, it's an insult to the Hawaiian. Uh, oh you know. no. So that's kind of probably somebody not on kick the chair and say, "Wake up, man." Yeah. So it's uh, th this is not a laughing matter. This oh. is not a laughing matter. It's just the idea of. You know, and who's to say? I won't be surprised that maybe Hawaii might be asking for independence. Yeah. Soon, so. Well, so, I mean, being treated like that, oh, being yeah, treated yeah. with such disrespect like that. Yeah. And Biden's actually under a lot of fire right now for his comments and for joking about that. Mm -hmm. That is one of the worst disasters that could possibly happen yeah. to anyone. And he doesn't care. So, so to go back quickly and close out that topic yes. before we move on for the Zelensky. <laughs> for the, pardon me, the comedian president Zelensky uh, hoping for an F-16 ain't gonna mm -hmm. happen. Even though I just find out on my way here yeah. that Greece, Greece offered to train, yes, which is nothing right. but hype. Right, and it so Ukraine uh, and Sweden also signed an agreement that'll have Ukraine begin <coughs> production on Sweden's CV-90 combat vehicles. Yeah. 
Um, well, basically, that's what he ended up getting. Yeah. From Sweden. He ain't going to get the FC. There, there is no one. Well, but he is, he is talking about their need to stand with Zelensky on his troubles. Yeah. So Christensen said, so <clears throat> when, when Christensen made his remarks, he was not talking about the gripens. Those did not come into his particular yeah. remarks. remarks, but yeah. he did condemn a Rus Russian missile attack on Ukraine um, that killed seven people and wounded mm -hmm. 90. And he said, quote, it only reinforces the need for us to stand with you in all your struggles. So what I don't, what I can't tell is if that's hype, which it might yeah. be, but at least he's publicly saying that. And to me, that sounds insane. Yeah. It sounds insane that this is continuing to happen. So the Swedish defense minister, Paul Johnson said on Tuesday that the government was planning a new 313 million military support package to Ukraine. Ammunition, spare parts on the weapons they already gave them. Yeah. So that package will be Sweden's 13th aid package to Ukraine since the start of the war. And the total value of all of their aid has been $1.8 billion. Wow. And compared to the US, that's, you know, 1.8 is nothing. nothing. But Sweden's a much smaller country than the United States is with a much smaller economy. 13th aid package? How much aid does Zelensky need? He needs to get to what it. does he need? Yeah. Yeah. And all this, by the way, came on the background of two main events regarding the weapons. Mm -hmm. One of them has to do with, believe it or not, Indonesia just signed the deal mm -hmm. with the U.S. latest version of F-15. Then the Congress just approved, uh, I think, $12 billion mm -hmm. sale of Apache helicopters to Poland. Yeah. So, yeah, this is where you see, you know, uh, just just to understand these dynamics, you will hear, <coughs> excuse me, the US will give F-16s. It's nothing but just for domestic consumption. Yeah. No more know that. Zelensky ain't going to get F-16s. Yeah. That's the red line. I hope. I he actually won't. very much hope that that and will even not if happen. He gets them. Who's going to fly them? Well, so that's the other question, so, right? Yeah. Because it it takes a, what is it a year, two years? It takes four four years to train somebody to train a Ukrainian to be able to do that. We have not been in this conflict for four years yet. Yeah. So who is going to fly them? Fly them, we are, right? Some of us. Western who pilots. is going to fly them and if that's the case because the u.s has kept saying oh no nato no we're not going to do that oh we're not joining yeah, right. we're not we're, we're not really part yeah. of this war but one step at a time it seems yeah. that that is becoming more and more the case and that's the problem that's yeah that's the problem so uh I'll, I'll conclude with this the comedian president Zelensky yeah. is delusional i'll leave it at that it's because yeah. no matter what you hear no matter what statements uh, he doesn't understand, he doesn't grasp yeah. the severity of what it's like to get closer to that red line dealing with the nuclear power. Yeah, I'm not saying being scared of Russians, or whatever. Russians don't bluff. Right. That is one thing that I have learned that three, at least when I did the research for, for my book about Russia. Yeah. Throughout their history, they were always will fight back. Yeah. Now they are armed with some serious nuclear weapons yeah uh, he, uh, Zelensky doesn't he doesn't poor guy he doesn't know he doesn't well know. and and honestly even from the beginning I actually don't understand why people didn't throw a bigger fit about what he's he seems to be playing a role he's wearing a costume we we decided on that we yeah. made that decision back in 2008 that's yeah. how far back we go we decided on it and we saw an opportunity. Mm -hmm. This is the same now what it's going on right now on a different capacity yeah. in Argentina. Yeah. What I'm referring briefly here before we get into our topic. There is a guy, his name is Javier mm -hmm. uh, uh, Malay, <clears throat> who's running for president of Argentina. You know what he's running on? 
to dollarize, uh, yes. you know, to bring the oh dollar my God. back. You know, yeah. if you know Argentina, what do yeah. you know about Argentina? IMF loan. It sinked yep. into that debt. Yep. As a matter of fact, it was never disclosed. I found it in the research. You know what their debt to GDP is? Mm. $305 billion. Oh, God. So Because Argentina is not yeah, a large economy. Yeah, and now this guy wants to use the dollar. Yeah. So it, right there, I saw the writing on the wall. Right. He already got the nod from Washington. Mm -hmm. Hey, I will be happy to support because Argentina is no small country in right. Latin America. In Latin America, absolutely. But also there is the the other elements that's going on. What Argentina has with China. Yeah. The BRI. Yeah, the BRI. That's where it's all. Well, and if you if you notice the BRI, it's interesting which countries are taking the BRI, which yeah. countries are not Aren't. taking the yeah. BRI. Very interesting. 